Peace be with you. One of the most important decisions we make in life is who we choose to surround ourselves with, who we choose as friends. And given that God in the Quran deals with all the most important decisions of life, it should come as no surprise that who we choose as friends or who we should choose as friends is included. Peer pressure is a reality of life. The younger we are, the more susceptible we are to peer pressure, the more likely we are to emulate our peer group and our friends. Therefore, whoever we, may, we take as friends is going to influence our behavior. So it is very important to choose friends on account of what God has revealed in the Quran. I'm going to go through several verses here just to show what God wants us to do in regards to this matter. And every human being, every person should listen to these words of advice and use them when making such an important decision. In the 18th chapter of the Quran, verse 28, we are told, And withhold yourself with those who call on their Lord morning and evening, desiring his good will. And do not let your eyes pass for them, desiring the beauties of this world's life. And do not follow him whose heart we have made unmindful of our remembrance, and he follows his desires, and his case is one in which all due bounds are exceeded. Now God has set boundaries in our life, and God tells us, look, if this person, is all they're doing is following their desires, and they are violating God's laws, and they're going outside of these boundaries, don't follow him. Stick around with those who praise and glorify their own morning and evening, people who pray, who are sincere in their desire for God's grace. And don't, don't look away from them. Don't let these people out here who are flashing on Instagram and showing you their Lambos and their you know fancy cars and their fancy watches and all that, the, this fake lifestyle, don't let them flash you out of reality, right? Don't follow him who is careless of God's remembrance and follows only his desires. So that is the first word of advice. In the sixth chapter of the Quran, verse 52, we're told, and do not drive away those who call upon their Lord in the morning and evening. They only desire his favor. Neither are you answerable for, their, for any reckoning of theirs, nor are they answerable for any reckoning of yours, so that you should drive them away and thus be of the unjust. Look, if you have people who are at least trying, they might be demonized to you by others, but give them a chance because they are trying like you are trying and they might sin differently than you, but you got to give them a benefit of the doubt as long as they are actually trying. These people are acceptable as friends as well. Now, who is not acceptable as friends? God tells us in the sixth chapter of the Quran, verse 70, and leave those who have taken their religion for fun and games and whom the life of this world has deceived and remind them thereby at least a soul should be given up to destruction for what it has earned. It will, have, it will not have beside God any guardian or intercessor and if it should seek to give every compensation, it will not be accepted from it. These are they who shall be given up to destruction for what they have earned. They will have a drink of boiling water and a painful punishment because they disbelieve. So if people take their deen, if they take their faith, it's just fun and games, it's not reality to them, then these people, you don't want to be around them. They will, they will steer you away from the right path. <clears throat> God also tells us, in the 11th chapter of the Quran, verse 113. And do not incline to those who are unjust. Zalamu is the Arabic word there. Least the fire touches you. And you have no guardians beside God. Then you shall not be helped. So if you people, again, if you see people acting outside of boundaries uh, of God with complete disregard. It's not even just making mistakes. It's just these people don't care. Don't, don't incline towards them. You don't want to make them as friends. The next... Uh, type of person is in the 22nd chapter of the Quran, verses 3 and 4. And this used to be me. When I was an atheist, this described me to the T. And among people there is he who disputes about God without knowledge and follows every rebellious devil. Against him it is written down that whoever takes him for a friend, he will lead him astray and conduct him to the punishment of the burning fire. I can bear witness that people like me, people like this, that is exactly what they will do to you. You definitely don't want to take these people as a friend. We're also told in the 53rd chapter of the Quran, verse 29, Therefore turn aside from him who turns his back upon our reminder and does not desire anything but this world's life. Turn away from such people. You don't want to be their friends. 
I'm going to stop here because it's almost five minutes of this video, but this is essentially the, some of the most important commandments. Who you choose as friends will influence your life and influence your behavior and can lead you completely down a dark path that you don't want to go down on. I've been there. I was one of those people. I bear witness that that is what I did to others. And they should, if they listen to God's commandments, they should have never taken me as a friend. Unfortunately, some of them did, and I don't know how much I influenced them, but I certainly did try, and I, re I will regret that for the rest of my life. And if you are a parent, you have to remember that peer pressure is a reality, and especially if you live out here in the Western world, and you should really work toward placing your kids in an environment where most of the people they are going to encounter are going to be those who are desiring or trying to act within boundaries of God so they can influence each other in a positive way. So these people can meet as many positive uh, people as they can. And hopefully they will help each other move in a positive direction. That is our job as parents here to create that type of an environment, whether we that means building schools or building neighborhoods, be, be as it may, but that is our job as parents. And if you are a young person, if you are any kind of person, but especially a young person, it is very, very important that you decide correctly the first time who you choose as friends. You should listen to God. Trust me. I've been there. I made many mistakes. And I was one of those evil people that people should have never taken as friend. You should definitely trust God on this one. Peace be with you.